Hello everyone, my name is Justin March. I'm from Danville, Illinois. Um, I'm a senior, I'm an outside linebacker. I just want to thank all you guys for being out here today. Um, it means a lot to us. And uh, first of all, I just want to thank all the new members of Zip Nation, whether you're a booster, whether you're a player, whether you're a coach, a cheerleader, anyone here. Um, I just want to give a round of applause for all the newcomers. So. And secondly, I just want to thank everyone who uh, returned with us. It means a lot. Um, we've been through a lot all together. I mean, I just want to thank you guys for sticking with us. And we're really excited for this season coming up. Um, just a little bit about my experience coming here. Um, I got here June 2011. Um, I played as a true freshman. It was kind of hard because when you're in high school, you go from winning to winning. And then uh, when I got here, it was a little different experience. Um, I just want to thank my teammates for sticking through everything. And uh, when, we, when we first got here, it was just kind of tough, um, just with the losing records. Everyone knows the past. Um, so there's no need for me to talk about the past. We all know that. So I just want to talk about today. And today, I can honestly say that this is the best Akron football program I've been around since I've been here. This is the best coaching staff I've been around since I've been here. Um, I just remember the days when we would like wear Akron football stuff when we were freshmen, and it was just, it was kind of like a different feeling. Uh, we might get like people would like laugh at us and stuff like that. But today, I would go through my closet any time of the day, and I would search for the Akron football shirt, and I would put that on, no matter what I'm wearing. I search for that shirt, and um, it's because all you guys, you guys all stuck with us and everything like that. So um, I just want to say thank you and thank you for everything you've done for us. And lastly, this is Akron. We are Zips and it's our time to shine. Thank you. I like this podium. It's nice and wide. It covers my problem areas. <laughs> no, but uh, uh, first of all, I just want to thank you guys for coming out. Um, you know, being a senior, we've been through, uh, you know, some tough times. I see a lot of familiar faces. Uh, you know, early on in my career, like Justin was saying, it wasn't the greatest feeling to play for Akron. Uh, but I, I promise that, you know, all the guys here, all you guys here, it's going to be even more rewarding, you know, when we finally do turn it around because, you know, what we've been through. Um, the offensive side of the ball, man, we got a lot of experience back. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Um, you know, we're just excited to get going and uh, go Zips. Well, you know, I talked to some of that group last night, and this reminds me so much of when I went to Florida State back in 76. They hadn't won any games, you know. I, and we were able to build it up into a national champion. And uh, so I, I, I come here and, and, I, and, I, and I see what happened to me 38 years ago. You know, you're starting all over and building a program. And the direction this one's going is the same way. There, there, there's no way, no reason Akron can't be as big as any of them. You know, what has Pittsburgh got that Akron don't have? Big town? Yeah, we got a big town here too, you know. More scholarships? No, we got the same they got, you know. Are they in an area of good football players? You know, Western Pennsylvania used to dominate. But they, don't, they lost all those meals, you know. We got you here, you know. I just think there's a great opportunity here, and I think I can see it developing. You alluded to the rebuilding process at Florida State. What does Akron need to do to take another step forward this year? Just keep recruiting. There's, no, there's only one answer, and that's recruiting. It has not changed. The team with the best players is going to win unless the coach messes it up. <laughs> now we've seen that happen, you know. <laughs> but, uh, and to say a few things again about this team and, and the, the expectations. And man, this is to you. You know, you know, you know what the expectations are. If, 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 you, if you're not ready to handle that, going out there now with people expecting to see wins, well, you're gonna see some of that. The way you play, the way we play. Seven days from now, we're going to play Howard University. A lot of people are going to say, we're just supposed to win that game. I guess it's the way Penn State's probably picking us. Just supposed to win that game. Well, you know what happens if we don't go out there and be ready to play. If we're going to have the success that we're going to have, the biggest thing is that we take our games one game at a time. Now, I love our expectations, but if you go out there and you put a, a circle by the games we're favored in, if you can put a circle by the games we're favored in next year, it wouldn't come out to a winning season, folks. Now, we're high, we have high expectations, and we expect to win. But the, if those other coaches are talking to their vans right now, and they're circling their wins, we're, on a, we're the win on most of those teams. So don't kid yourselves. We have got to play one game at a time. we got to play that's everything, and that's the last game on our schedule. And it starts with Howard University. It starts with Howard University. Last year we played James Madison's one double A team we played and we gotta we gotta shut them down the last play of the game to win that game. 
But that's how that's sometimes how it goes, and that's where it's going to start. We have got to learn to play one game at a time. And those goals that we want to have, and I think with every one of our players, there are a lot of goals. We want to win our division or we want to win uh, the conference. We want to do something historically that nobody's ever done before here as a Division I football team. That's won eight games. Never. 27 years. We'd like to do that. But most of all, we want to get back to being a winning team and go to a bowl. You want to be a winning team and go to a bowl. And we got to, we got to, we got to start game one with everything we got. Nobody thinking about game two. No, everybody thinking one game ahead. Start with game one. We better real, realize that we got to play 60 minutes a week, 12 straight weeks, because this season is going to be determined in late October or in November on Tuesday night. Let's get ready to play. Buckle them up. Let's get everybody in the stands. Let's get going. Let's have a great season. Thank you.